first. All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. Mythic Championship is on the horizon. Fields of fields of field of the dead. But that's okay. There are more decks as well. Today we're going to go over a lot of those decks, as well as some field decks too. I'm not sure how I feel completely about the Mythic Championship deck list being posted so early. Um, on the one hand, obviously the list need to be shared, I think, for a covered public event, because, you know, with coverage and deck techs, you can't have a deck tech be a disadvantage, you know? So, I get that. You know, that makes sense. But, at the same time, um, it kind of removes some of the surprise from the format. You know, we have all the deck lists, they're right here. On this blank screen. That's not lovely. <laughs> Thanks. So we have all the deck lists right here. And it definitely, it ruins some of the, you know, the, the Christmas morning allure of, ooh, I wonder what happened to the Pro Tour. I wonder what's going on. Is there anything cool happening? Is there any, any cool new decks, you know? And um, so on the one hand, you know, it's good for even playing field, sort of. On the other hand, it's like, it kind of kills a little bit of the fun. And then also you have the issue of, if I brought some crazy rogue deck, like some of the decks we're going to see today on stream, now everyone knows my exact deck list days in advance. And it's not like they're going to sit down, see my list, and have five minutes to think about how to beat it. You know? Um, now they have time to literally proxy up my list if they want to, and play some games against it. So like, it discourages going rogue because your your rogue list, like this Embercleave list we're about to play, um, isn't as rogue, you know. It's hard to have secrets this day and age anyway at a Pro Tour, but just the fact that your, you know, your opponents, their team can sit down, look at your list three days in advance and discuss how they would approach it, rather than you having to do it right on the spot. So, I don't know. I'm not sure I feel about it. Uh, pragmatically, it makes my... Uh, my Pro Tour Predictions article, uh, a staple at this point of my articles, uh, also null and void because most of my predictions are based on metagames, but whatever. I digress. That's not important. It is what it is, and the decks are here, and we're starting out with perhaps one of the more interesting decks in the field. This deck was listed as Mardu Knights by Ken Yukihiro. I'm calling it Dino Blade um, because... Frankly, while it is built around a Mardu Knight shell, it feels like the point of this deck is just Rotting Regisaur and Embercleave. Because giving your 7 power creature plus 1, plus 1, double strike, and trample is like a really good way to win the game. Um, we have, again, sort of a, a Mardu Knight's core, but there's definitely a kind of a combo element to this. We have Embercleave, Rotting Regisaur, we have Rimrock Knight, which can help plus, plus buff powered power, uh, not something that's with power. We have Black Lance Paragon. If you give your Ember Cleaved creature Death Touch, then uh, only the first point of damage needs to go to them, and all of the rest of the double strike damage can trample over, which is pretty cool. We have Steel Claw Lance, a card that I liked a lot when I was playing my early Knights decks on the preview stream. Again, more power and toughness. So this is kind of like a, a Team or Battle Rage esque go big sort of deck almost masquerading as a Mardu Knights tribal deck um so kind of interesting obviously Fervent Champion very good with all the equipment uh, we have a claimed contender which is good for card advantage but also can find you your Ember Cleaves so feels like a a real almost meme -y deck also just really really fun to imagine the uh the Rotting Reach Sword and its tiny arms trying to hold this really big sword. That just makes me smile. Um, but um, kind of like an almost like a combo-y deck rather than a aggro deck. Uh, no main deck removal. Um, a mana base that only a mother could love. Um, we have 12 total white sources for Inspiring Veteran and a Contender. We have 11 total black sources that can cast Rotting Reach Sword. It's a mana base. It's a mana base, you know, but um, let's give it a try. People, the, the feedback from this deck so far has been pretty high. People are saying that he has the best deck in the tournament, so let's check it, you know. Sideboard's got Legion's End, Noxious Grass, 
Anger at, Anger at Rampage, and Chance for Glory. Chance for Glory, Chance for Glory, a really cute one, uh, can be used as a time walk to try and win the game one more one more turn, or it's like an anti Wrath of God card um, that can win the game the next turn as well. And um, all the interactions in the sideboard, all of the combo stuff in the main deck feels a little like a modern deck, honestly. And uh, yeah, no modern today. We're playing some standard for the Mythic Championship. I'll, I'll play, play modern soon, though. I have a lot of modern decks I want to play. So, what's battle? Let's see how it goes. Dino Blade. I named the deck. It's my name. Can you Hero's deck, but my name. All right. And don't forget, folks, like I said, Goosey Gang, we are raising money for, for kids and children, children's hospitals via the Extra Life Initiative. Uh, type exclamation point Goose in chat to donate. Let's keep raising some money. I've already raised over, five, over 500 bucks. I want to see more. You raise money, get honked at. It's a curve. Tournament grounds obviously goes a long way towards casting our spells. Um, we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep. Can you get a preview of the honk? Honk. No, it's like a little. A goose pops out. It's cool. You're gonna like it. Trust me. All right, we've drawn our Ember Cleave. Let's have Steel Claw Lance. So we're going tall here. We're going tall. Steel Claw, of course, equips to Knights for one, which is really good. I like this card a lot, honestly. The Innkeeper. So here we're seeing, you know, we have zero kill spells in our deck. And we got to overcome this Edge Wall Innkeeper. Well, there's a Rotting Reach Store. That's, that's part of our combo, uh, for sure. So... See if we can get this going here. Call this deck Dino Knight. <laughs> Dino Knight. That, that is pretty good too. That is pretty good, to, uh, Kenobi. Okay, so looks like one of the more um, one of the more kind of fair adventure decks. Not going all in on the, on the uh, adventure side of things. They have a love struck beast in hand. Um, you could go veteran equip attack, and then if they don't block, our knight gets bigger, or we could just slam the rotting regisor. We're not really there yet on Embercleave. We need a, we need more attackers for sure. I think we want to go for the uh, the better and equip play. This is a pretty good attack on turn three here, and then if I don't block my my knight grows, which is pretty awesome. So, thanks for following everyone, all my new followers. What's up, Cube Egg? How's it going? If you haven't followed, just hit that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there, like and subscribe, and hit all those buttons and stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Jim Davis. We're playing some some of the more fun decks from Mythic Championship coming up. Kill one one. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. You can buy that. All right, there's your Love Struck Beast. They draw a card. Love Struck Beast does battle pretty well with our Knight. We can always pump it though, so. And another Love Struck Beast token. Another Steel Claw Lance. Um, definitely a lot on mana here. Uh, we have a lot of things we want to deploy. Ember Cleave would cost four. I mean, I guess we can kind of just go big on this Knight of Ebon Legion. Um, I don't know how much removal they actually have. We could just play another lance and attack with the knight. There's not block with the, the human though. Which isn't great. We could just slam Regisaur, I guess. Let's attack first. Um they're not gonna block with the beast. We can, we can just pump. Probably just block with the with the uh, human again. Which is fine. Dynamite! And it's one big, mean dinosaur. We can dump off these acclaimed contenders. Honestly, the Steel Call Lance is also a little redundant right now. Vivian? Mm -hmm. I guess I can make my uh, 
I can Love Struck Beast to kill my Knight of Evan Legion. It's kind of annoying. It does hurt my ability to Ember Cleave, but. There's a lot of Love Struck Beasts. Alright, we're going to ship uh, a Contender. So we can Ember Cleave. Um. This would be a eight power double striker. I mean, it is pretty good. I mean, maybe we just go for it. I don't know how much removal they actually have. You just shove. We gotta attack with the veteran also, which kind of sucks. But just literally just shove all in. I think we're just shoving all in. Just shove. A little obvious that we have it, but... One of the things is that a lot of decks are light on removal, because removal isn't very good against Golos. Uh, so that's kind of why this deck makes sense. Is you can just shove. Alright, Embercleave. That is a really mean, large dinosaur. Next turn, we can just like Steel Claw Lance it, make it even bigger. As if it wasn't big enough. They have two cards in hand. They have two Love Struck Beasts in Adventure World. <laughs> Stomping time. Oh, that's a huge tilt. Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. Alright, so they had a second Vivian. Alright. I mean That's pretty unfortunate. That's pretty unfortunate. And now we're dead. All right, well, that sucks. That's what I said, G Lob Mancer. That's why the name Dino Blade makes it makes me fun, makes me uh, makes me laugh because the idea of the dinosaur holding the blade is very silly. All right, well, that sucked. Uh, Vivian just killed us, basically. We shoved all in, and they had an answer in their two cards in hand, which I'm sure they have only like two or three of these. All right, that sucks. Um, what do we want? I guess Noxious Grasp is certainly live. Now the question is, how do we want to sideboard? You know, do you want to go down on the Embercleave package? Because they're going to have more removal spells, probably. Um, you want to be less combo-y, probably, I would assume. Um, I think the Rimrock Knights should probably go. I like four Noxious Grasp. I uh, don't want Angry Grasp Rampage. don't want Legion's End. I think this is fine. What's up, Frank? I think this is fine. Like, I don't think I want Rampage. The Edict effect on creatures is obviously bad. Killing the Planeswalkers seems kind of end. I don't think I want Legion's End. It seems like fine against some of their stuff, but bad against others. Um, I, don't, I don't want Chance here, I don't think. I think chance is more for when you're playing it's like a like Jeskai Fires, maybe even Golos. Right, let's try again. Let's try again. We shoved and we lost. Happens sometimes. Happens sometimes. Alright. Well, our mana's are pretty good so far. Alright, we're gonna keep. Got a little combo here of Fervent Champion to Black Lance Paragon. 
They block, we can give it death touch with the first strike. Edge wall and keeper. Knight, huh? Right, well, I'm pretty sure we're just playing inspiring veteran. The old swamp inspiring veteran veteran hand, you know, no big deal. Um yeah, there's veteran here. Yeah, all right. Edge roll innkeeper is pretty good. And Falmire Knight is pretty good against Rotting Regisaur. It's kind of annoying. Um, obviously, first strike's fine against Falmire Knight, but that has a lot of card advantage. Pretty sure we're playing the Contender. Uh, I don't think playing the Paragon's really good at the moment. And Knight's also kind of whatever. I think finding Embercleave uh, sooner rather than later is probably good. So. Another contender? Sure. Again, our goal is just to find our Embercleave and kill them, so. While Falmire Knight's annoying and the cards they're drawing are annoying, we're trying to just kind of like. Give me old business. Jeez, that's so good. Yeah, I mean, it seems like they're playing the bigger version of a deck. Plus, they're playing Paradise Druid. So, yeah, exactly. So, theoretically, you know, Legion's End's not good against Questing Beast, things like that, but. Alright. Um, I guess Fervent Champion just fires in again. And then we'll uh, just keep playing Contender, trying to find Embercleave. Uh, this is more of like a. I mean, this is not. This is not my deck. This is Ken Yuka Hero's deck from the Mythic Championship. But um, this is more of like a Ember Cleavy combo deck than a kind of fair deck. Ember Cleave. Nope. Another Fervent Champion or Steel Claw Lance. I think I want the Fervent Champion. Honestly, that kind of sucks. I, I got a pre-combated it. I didn't think about that. Because the champions pump each other. That's kind of a tilt, but... Mm. I mean, we, did, we did just look really, really deep for uh, for Embercleave. We just looked at, you know, ten cards plus the cards you've drawn, so... Target! Lightning Bolt. New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. First sub of the day. You'd love to see it. Yeah, Love Strike Beast. Yeah, Embercleave would be lethal at basically any point here. Steel Claw Lance. Um, all right. I mean, now our fervent champions can't attack as. Fr yeah, they can. We have Paragon. Um, yeah, let's play fervent champion. I guess we'll just attack with the champions. What's your opinion on the field of the dead banning? It might be necessary. Field of the dead's pretty obnoxious. I mean, they already have like a number of good blockers. I don't think trading Falmire Knights for like four fours is good. I want to keep my veteran alive, so I attack with everything but the veteran. They just have some pretty easy blocks. I guess it's still fine. Black Lance still does a pretty good job trading up, so. What's up, Doug? I'm Australia. Awesome. Watch YouTube content religiously. Thought it was time you supported the stream. Doug, thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. 
Love all the YouTube viewers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is pretty good. I mean, we're obviously making some awkward trades here with the Falmire Knights, but we get to kill a Love Struck Beast. We're getting for some good damage. We're clearing out the board a little bit. In Innkeeper's blocking. Cool. All right, let's give Death Touch to our Fervent Champion. Gain a little life. Clean the board up. And this board looks a lot better than it did about 20 seconds ago, so... Pretty happy, pretty happy. Cavalier of Knights, not bad. Uh, that is not bad. Well, another Black Lance Paragons, also not bad. So... I guess it's just champions. I mean, I guess we could. I think when this thing dies, they get back a a love struck beast, which is kind of a pain. Um, first strike means it'll gain life, though. So yeah, I guess just this. Fervent champion is certainly better than this in this deck than like mono red. It synergizes all the equipment with the equipments, with the paragons, the other thingies. So they get probably Love Struck Beast back. This game is going pretty well, honestly. All right, it's going less well now. It's going less well now. Thrashing Brontodon. Wow. That makes Embercleave look pretty bad, obviously. That's kind of gross. Obviously. All right. Uh, I guess we're going to try and just... Equip attack. Try and make him use it on the, uh, on the Brontodon if we can. We can't, uh, we can't play Registrar without losing the Embercleave, though. It's kind of a tilt. Let's see what we can do here. Morning, Zodiac Brave. So you get him to kill the thing. All right, cool. All right, sweet. So we get him. We get him to kill the thing. The problem is you can't cast Reach Store. We lose Embercleave. But I think that's fine. I think we're just gonna wait a turn. I have survived Nico Why is Vivian like actually good? This card, like, wasn't good before, right? Maybe in Buzz Love Struck Beast just seems really, really good. My, my. How you've grown. So now they can just kill my, my Reach Sword with their Love Struck Beast. It's not a fight, it's a, it's a rabid bite. Minus three to rabid bite. Get him. Uh, 
So, I mean, I guess we're, like, just trying to go wide, then Embercleave next turn. Randy. Do you think they will ban Field and Oko? I don't think they'll ban Oko. God damn it. That's so unlucky. Alright. Whiskey on the contender. If we just had like a random two drop to play, we're able to go wide enough that we could just like amber cleave them, we'd probably be fine, but yeah, they're not gonna ban a brand new planeswalker face card, you know. <laughs> Stopping time. Why couldn't that have been our our fifth card down, not our sixth card down? I mean, they block all three. They are dead, theoretically. So, so a five-five double striker that'll be when the one-one, the one-one will be blocking one of them. Plus, they have a kill spell here. They're dead. AKA, please no kill spell. Ember Cleave. Vampiric Lotus resub. Welcome back, my friend. Oh, we got him anyway. You'll love to see it. Ember Cleave. This is a, definitely an Ember Cleave deck through and through. Get your Ember Cleaves now, my friends. I still think we want Legion's End. Doesn't kill Lovestruck Beast. Doesn't kill. Like Vivian or Bronzadon or uh, Questing Beast. Red, red, yeah, dead. In before Golo starts playing Embercleave. Play everything else, so why not, you know? Uh, yeah, this hand plays. It's a nice little curve, honestly. Champion, Power Gone, Registore, Embercleave. We can buy this, we can buy this. Opponent's mulliganing to Oblivion. Bedevil, too expensive for the sideboard. Probably uncastable. Uh, you can't cast Bedevil off of the tournament grounds. They mulligan to four. Alright, well. Them's the breaks, I guess. And they're going to draw 100 cards and win the game anyway. It's, it's, it's like... Fervent Champion, go nuts. They're going to go Land, Innkeeper, Death Touch Creature. No? Alright. Acclaim Contender, not bad, not bad. I'm not even sure if I. I don't think I. I don't think I just like randomly flashed in this Paragon. Steel Claw Lance. Eh. I think we're just gonna contender. Don't think you want to register just yet, because we're not really there yet on. I guess we kind of are there on Embercleave. And I doubt they're blocking here, but. I guess we just register. Register, discard Steel Lance. This is an 8, that's 16. It is lethal. If they have, uh, yeah, I can't see much of them having much, honestly. Yeah, I'll just do it. All right, sure. Dinosaur Ahoy. Get those tiny arms ready. Tiny arms ready, Riding Reach Sore. I mean, Vivian doesn't do anything, so... It was the double Vivian that got us in that first game. Because they were able to make the make the beast 7-7 and then attack. Uh, yeah, I 
think they're dead. Discard, whatever. Lance, I guess. So, yeah, about that. You imagine the Reach Store holds the sword in his mouth? That's fair. Much more funny to imagine the, the uh, tiny arms, though. Oh, look, you're dead. Protor Embercleave. Protor Embercleave. Turn four kill. Cast, I cast three spells that game. I don't know. Deck seems kind of cool. Remember, folks. We got a new sponsor here on the stream, and I am really, really proud to partner with Cardboard Live. Cardboard.live, the future of card and board game online entertainment. Uh, the awesome overlay you see on stream, that's Cardboard Live. The awesome overlay you see on the SG Tour stream, that's Cardboard Live. The awesome overlay you're going to see on the Pro Tour stream, that's Cardboard Live. And they're doing a whole bunch more stuff in the future. It's really, really cool. Um, you'll be able to buy cards right from the overlay. Uh, they're just making it much easier and more enjoyable to watch Magic on the internet. So get involved. If you're a streamer, if you're a viewer, tell your streamer to get involved. If you're a streamer, sign up for the beta process. Cardboard.live. Check it out, folks. Good stuff. Very proud to sponsor them. Um, really, really good guys. It's really cool stuff. Uh... I guess this is fine. It's not great. Tender and Lance and Embercleave. I'm gonna keep. This might be a little bit loose, but Contender can find me another threat also. Oh, well, I didn't read a claim contender. I did not realize there was a condition on the trigger of must you mean need to control another knight. That makes this keep really bad. You have to read your cards, folks. You have to read your cards. We'll just draw a knight, that's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, I drew it. All right, it's like a gruel. See, see how easy it is? You see how easy it is? It's not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah, just too easy, you know. Too easy. Steel Claw Lance, Fervent Champion all day. All day. All day. Legion War Boss, come on down. Here next contestant on the Embercleave show. Another Fervent Champion? That's pretty good. Um I guess we'll split the difference. They pump each other. Adorable. Adorable. Got a seven. This egg is sweet, honestly. Uh, so I don't want to reveal that we have Embercleave because we already have one. Um, <clears throat> so honestly, might not even need, need Embercleave to win this game. But I guess we'll take another lance. They're the two best friends that anyone could have. Yeah, Fervent Champion and Steel Claw Lance, also pretty good. Alright, so they showed us Forest Island Mountain 
Legion War Boss. And that is it. Um, given that we're not sure, I guess Noxious Grasp is like probably going to be good. They probably have Oko, probably have Questing Beast. I guess we'll just shave down on a few copies of Rimrock Knight and bring it to Noxious Grasp and just call it a day. Let's try this. I think three is fine. I don't know, crazy. You know, we don't know how they could have, like, uh, the dragon or. Who knows what they're doing, honestly? Steam or something. Woo! Woo! Little hand of the week action. Little hand of the week action. Uh, we're gonna mulligan. Full House, Dinos over Knights, Dino Knight, uh, well this looks familiar, um, we're going to keep, we're going to ship probably a land, ship the old Godless Shrine I guess. Inspiring veteran. I'm feeling very inspired right now. Feeling so inspired. I feel like a small child with a toy sword ready to go into battle. Doesn't sound right at all. Hmm. So we could knight tap land. We could steel claw lance next turn, but that's like not even great. I just want to make the more mana efficient blood. We can lance the veteran next turn. Welcome to paradise. All right. Um. We can steel claw lance equip. We can contender. We can knight. You probably just want to. I mean, we steel claw lance. They can double block. That's honestly fine. All right. Ooh, boy, they have shock. Ooh, that's really bad. Alright. Ah, that was really bad. Probably should have done that. Um, alright. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Now we can, like... Nice champion double lance again. Seems worse now because they have more stuff in play, but. What's up, bud? Just wanted to say bye. Have a good day in school, bud. See you bye, later. chat. Alright, party time. I don't mind drawing a land next turn so you can knight and contender. U2 Crisis. Yeah, we're behind the 8 boy. That I, I, I played Nevet Shock really badly. I kind of just like looked at both Paradise Druids and thought they were both summoning sticks. I thought they were tapped out. But one, one, was, one was second, one was not, obviously. So that was definitely a punt. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they just have like easy blocks the rest of the way. Contender. Contender. Alright, that's not bad. We can get some life for racing. Not great, but Nissa who shakes the world. It's a little world shaking action. I mean they don't have great attacks here, except from the land.
Bow, no, 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 no. Alright, so Forrest is here. War boss is here. Blocking the forest is somewhat appealing. Yeah, so they're not, not going to attack with it. That's interesting. It's kind of a wild attack. Ember Cleave. So all we gotta do is set up for Ember Cleave next turn. I'm pretty sure we can kill them. Um, we're definitely gonna try and gain some life with Black Lance Paragon. Um, we also have Rimrock Knight to kill the Nissa possibly. So I'm pretty sure the Fervent Champion just attacks Nissa. Um, and we just leave the Contender home. And we'll see if we can. Uh... I guess though, if yeah, that works. So. Agnesa, let's see what they do. Then we'll have three attackers for Cleave next turn. Alright, so they're not going to do anything. We're going to Rimrock Knight. Let's kill it. And we'll Black Lance Paragon to gain seven. And now we go to 12. And we have Ember Cleave set up for next turn. For a bazillion. Gentlemen. Behold! Come to me. So we have a 6-6 six, six double strike. Noxious Grasp. Yeah. I was a little worried about Noxious Grasp. Um, the 6-6 six, six double strike's not even lethal. It's kind of a tilt. Uh, we're at 10... I guess... If we attack... Really great spot. We can kill Sarkin, but like we're kind of dead on the backswing, sort of. We have to do something. But if we two, four, six, eight, we're just dead to the ground. Also, I don't think we can do anything here. I think we're just dead. Um. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything here. I mean, I mean just punted this game. Is there any attack we make to try and kill Sark and we just die in the backswing, but if we don't attack, we also die? Yeah, we're just dead. Alright. We, 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 we punted that game. We, we, equipped, we equipped in the face of a shock. I just kind of, like, didn't notice they had mana up because they had two Paradise Druids and just cast one, and that was just really, really dumb. Tempo Black Hole. Uh, can't do that. Can't do that. Um, Alright, that's fun. We're on the play now. We're on the play now. I mean, what does Legion's End kill that we want to kill? Uh, this hand plays. A little Rotting Reggie. This hand's possible turn 4 kill at Registor and Embercleave. Honk! Honk! The goose is loose.
All right, what do you got here? What's your big turn? T big turn two. Gruel Spellbreaker four four. Oh yeah. How about Rod and Registor seven six. Okay. I'm gonna shrink my resource and not the, not the end of the world, honestly. It's fine. Um, so now we like Reggie again. Um, yeah, let me do Reggie again and say go. We could, um, we can't play Lana and Fervent Champion. We lose, lose Embercleave, obviously. Despite the fact that Fervent Champion is kind of good, but... Yeah, we'll just play Reg Reggie, and we'll say go. I guess I can just, like, make this into a, an Elk also. If I go land Champion, and they make... And they don't make Registrar... I think I mean lose the Ember Cleave really sucks, but they might just do it anyway. I'm just gonna do it. This is a little sketch, but I could just smash too. Nah, it sucks. We deal some damage, but it's not great. I, invite I didn't do it. It's kind of weird. I turn my fervent champion into an elk. Yeah, that's kind of a tilt. They're at fourteen. That was probably bad. I think I took too long. I thought for a while, and as such, they didn't target my Registrar because they just knew the card in my hand was good. Um, I think we just slam. We'll lose a 3-3, three, three, and we'll deal a bunch of damage. Losing Veteran isn't even that bad anymore. We got a raid. Ark. Thanks for the raid, my friend. Appreciate it. If you haven't seen Ark's channel, check it out. Yeah, I have a lot of 3-3s. Three he played this game bad. It's not bad. Um... Thanks, Ark. Appreciate that. throw away a 3-3 just to deal some damage. This kind of sucks. I have a shock or something. Yeah. It should definitely make my Black Lance Paragon to an Elk. That'd be cool.
I can make the crisis to a 7 7. No? And all your cares are gone. Wow. Yeah. That would be a pretty weird block. I don't know why you'd want to. Why you'd value your flyer less than your uh, your ground pounder? All right. I mean, you play this game pretty badly. That's not bad. We're still heavily behind, but... Well, there's an Embercleave. Um, that never really helps us, though, because all of our things are 3-3s. Three you know? Played, uh, we played that game pretty badly. Played that game pretty bad. Get yeah, cards though? Nope. Cards are gone. What are they? Who knows? Who knows? They gotta print a really good elk tribal lord. That's what they gotta do. Just print a really good elk lord so it dissuades people from oakling your creatures. Alright. That's fine here. We play bad. We'll recover. MBD. Can Tournament Grounds cast Boulder Rush? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no, it cannot. They make your lord do a 3 3 doesn't lord? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Target. Have you go, my friend. Rim Rock Knight. Bird. Honk. Honk. What's up, name bro? How's it going, my friend? Welcome. How's it going, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mythic Championship decks. Hot damn. I think that you could just play the knight, but um, I don't know. Pumping is free value. I'm not sure, honestly. Bourbon champion. The black lance is like kind of amp. We could help us trade up, maybe. Fervent Champion or Knight lets us double spell next turn, which is pretty good. Uh, Fervent Champion's not great at the moment. But Black Lance, things we're also going to reveal the Black Lance. It's not, gonna, not gonna as good as if you reveal it. I'm going to take the Knight of Ebon Legion. Alright, well, you got your Honkers. What do you want here? Goosey gang, 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 goosey gang. Just your old turn three Nissa, no big deal. 
Kuro with the raid also. That's a big raid. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm pretty sure we block here. All my new folks tuning in, welcome. We're playing the Mythic Championship decks today. And uh, we're starting off with Ken Yukihiro's... I'm dubbing it Dino Blade. Because it's based around Ember Cleave and uh, Rotting Regisaur. Hmm. We're definitely shocking. Yeah, you can just act for one and play bold things. Maybe I should just play this as, as a creature, honestly. Ember Cleave. Speaking of the blade, there is the blade. So welcome everyone. We're playing a bunch of a uh, bunch of Mythic Championship decks today. The deck lists are out and they are public. And uh, for better or for worse, they're public. So here we are. I'm not thrilled they're public, honestly. I think it would be better if they uh, were not, but they attack again. They must have block again. I think trading off lands is fine here. We have other, we have plenty of other creatures. Um, they surely have like craces and things in their decks, so constraining their constraining their mana is not bad. Don't forget, folks, we are raising money for extra life uh, children's hospitals. Exclamation point, Goose in chat to, uh, to donate. Kuro, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Hope you had a great stream. Thank you for the host. We got a shout out for uh, for Kuro in chat, please. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. All right, a crisis for two. When is my next 24-hour stream? Never, never again. I mean, we got the cleave all rolled up. We could also just shadow lance set up for next turn. Uh, I do kind of like hitting the uh, the Nissa here and forcing it block with the Gildy Goose. Set up for Ember Cleave next turn when I have more creatures in play. Yeah, I think I like that. Tournament grounds cast cleave. I'll just attack them. Try and push for the kill next turn. Man, it's better. I mean, it is. It does get them another, another more blockers, but yeah, I'll just attack them. I mean, this is pretty sick, honestly. All of our stuff grows too. We have double Embercleave, so if they manage to somehow stop the first one with a bounce spell or something, we get to play the other one. They are legendary, so you can't have both in play at the same time, but... What's up, Stevie? Yeah, this deck seems pretty good, honestly. This seems like one of the more exciting decks uh, to come out of the, uh, the Mythic Championship deck lists. It's just very focused on what it does, and the decks that are popular, which is just literally Golos decks and Oko decks, don't have much actual removal at instant speed. So, that's true. We can't actually cast Bold Ember Cleaves yet. We're playing Golos later. Don't worry. Agent of Treachery? Okay. Um... Black Lance Paragon. Well, that is the combo, isn't it? We can give it Death Touch and then Double Strike. So we'll have a 4-4 four, four Death Touch Double Strike. It's still not, like, great. Um, 
We want a Steel Claw Lance, too. We're, we're like one short of Steel Claw Lance and Paragon and Embercleave. Kind of a tilt. Kind of a tilt. Um, I mean, we could just make a 5-5 five, five Double Striker, which is still pretty good. Thing is, our attacks like, aren't great. Of the six six double striker. I'll leave the the Knight Evan Legion home. Like, they know we have Embercleaves, so it's not like it's like a... Yes, death, 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 death Touch and Trample is very good, but we can't do everything. We can't equip the Steel Claw and give Death Touch and Embercleave. We are one mana short of that. I mean, this thing needs to be blocked by a lot of things. It is a 6. It's worth 12 damage. It needs to be blocked by at least 4 Toughness, which will kill a great many things. Try and set up for next turn. Goosey gang, 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 goosey gang. So this is fine. I mean, it's gonna have five first striking power. Six first striking power. So they're still taking a lot of damage here. They get a four. Most of their stuff's dead. Knight gets bigger. Pretty good. Pretty good. Do you have combat on manual to deal one to each? That's not automatically done for you? I'll have to check that. I'll have to check that. That's not Matt. Alright, well, thank you for catching that. I appreciate that. Embercleave! We're going to put an Embercleave on our Embercleave. We can't do that. It's still called Embercleave. That's annoying. So, Legend Rule still applies. Is it still a legendary permanent named Embercleave? We can't attack with it, though, to allow us to cast Ember Embercleave for cheap. So, they're dead, for sure. The most legendary of elks. Elk Burkleave. Oh, go. So yeah, we tackled everything. We get to uh, Black Lance, the contender. Amber Cleave, the contender. And that's game. It is pretty cute that our Embercleave is going to reduce the cost of our Embercleave. Yo, bro. I heard you liked Embercleaves. We also just give this Death Touch and attack with this. That also works. You are dead. Double block in the contender, eh? Well, I got bad news for you, my friend. You dead. Embercleave. Unbeatable. Yep. So our, our, Ember, our Elk Burkleave will reduce the cost of our Embercleave. And that's game. Game. Blouses. And Arena's already gone slow. It's been an hour. Arena's been on for an hour and 20 minutes, and we're already chugging. All right, so we had all four Noxious Grasps. Uh, Rimrock Knights are out. I think that's it, honestly. Pretty simple sideboarding. That's a roll. They just don't have a lot of ways to interact with Embercleave, you know? Feels like this deck 
is just a like a really good choice for the Pro Tour meta game specifically. Um, I think that if players could change their decks, they might add some naturalizers to their board and things like that to interact with it. But they can't. So we are currently one and one. Although we played really bad last match. So we should probably be two up. Simple, effective. Keep or mulligan. Ken Yukihiro is going to win the Mythic Championship with this deck. Keep or mulligan. Oh, we lost to a teamer deck. I just played bad though. I just walked into a shock because they, they had a they had they had went turn two Paradise Druid, turn three Missile Land Drop Paradise Druid, and I thought that they I thought that they were tap out, went for an equip, and they had a shock. I'm, I'm just stupid. What's up, Aiden? Uh, we've had a lot, we've had a lot of these acclaim contender no knight hands. We're gonna keep this though. Our next fold knights. We have a good removal spell, a two drop. We're fun. We're fun. Mulligan but top eight. Okay. Whatever. A, a naturalized style effect. A specific effect is irrelevant. Welcome to paradise. There you go. Inspiring vet. I'm feeling particularly inspired today. Statistically unlikely. Well, yeah, but, you know. Growth spiral. Goose. And no land. Wow, that's awkward. Um, we gonna give him the old Reggie? Give him the old Reggie business? I think so. What do we want to play here, though? Like, we could also just, like, Noxious Grasp their Paradise Druid, because they clearly have five spells and no lands. But that does hurt our ability to uh, to develop our board. Probably just Reggie. 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 Look at those little hands. Look at those cute little hands. Gonna hold the big sword. What are we discarding? Hopefully they just Oko my, my Regisaur. So I don't have to decide what I want to discard. That'd be cool. What are we going to discard here? Probably the Black Lance. Wicked Wolf. That's kind of a tilt. That is kind of a tilt. Alright, well, we are all in on Rotting Regisaur now. I think now it's Steel Claw Lance. I guess it feels like our worst card. Alright. Well, go get him, Tiger. Alright, sacrifice of food, gain seven life. I think that's fun. Contender. Oh, I don't have a, a knight in play. Wake up, Jim. So many words, you know? So many words. I don't know if we have a better play that turn, honestly. Maybe, I mean, maybe we should have just killed the, the wolf in response. They, they, they have all spells in their hand, though, so we gotta kill this or something. I mean, why grass in response? Like, they have all spells in their hand. Um... This is just a 4-4. So, like, we're just kind of tossing out a grasp that's not going to kill a Nissa or an Oko. And, like, the 4-4 doesn't really matter that much. They're making a food. Okay.
playing another Paradise Druid. Jeez. Again, they have all spells in their hand because they missed the land drop, which kind of sucks. Alright, ship Black Lance. Another Noxious Grasp? It's not the worst. Like... We gotta kill Oko. Make him sack the food. I guess we'll attack if they, if they double block, then we'll then we'll kill the, the wolf. Probably should have attacked Oko. Only really, really matters, should have block anyway, so. I guess the goose and the wolf plays pretty well together too. Yes, the goal is to Ember Cleave Redisaur. I think you want to grasp the wolf. You can grasp it later. This is going to be a huge crisis. Jeez. All the Simic cards are just so good. You know? And for so many years of all the Simic gold cards being so bad, like that was always the worst gold section in my cube. They've really gone pretty bananas lately with Oko and Krasis and Growth Spiral. food. Or not. Oopsie. Oh, they can't make it food because they made, they, they made the castle mana. Oh, they can. Because it, it's also for abilities. Oh, they screwed up. Everybody laugh at them. They screwed up. Um. Jeez. I don't know if we can win, honestly. <laughs> like, we're just like in the abyss here as far as discarding cards goes, and like, I don't know. Maybe we should have killed the wolf. Like, we can't can't play fervent champion. I guess we could have played it and just got rid of our noxious grass, but like, I don't know when we're ever gonna be able to kill this wolf. Now that they have goose and an extra food. I shouldn't have played the Reach really. Yeah, but I, I played the game bad, I think. Attack's a little weird. Reach is a weird card. Tax is a resource you're not used to having to manage. Like, typically the managing what cards you have in your hand and stuff is not relevant. Hmm. Now what? This is a crisis. No. Something. Agent Treachery. Something. Nothing. Okay. I mean... Very peculiar. Like, maybe we need to ditch the grasp and just try and... Maybe we need to draw, like, reg... draw runner, runner lands. I think Ember Clay is our only way to win. So, I'm gonna ditch the grasp. There's a land. I don't think we can actually... 
do it though. Make a red? That's just select the food, I guess. Sure. I'm, I'm making food, though. Alright. What the hell happened? Why couldn't I play land? Did I hit the stupid button? I don't recall hitting a button. I needed to play this land. The line was to draw land and then Ember them next turn. God damn it. I don't recall hitting the uh, the past turn button. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I did. I just didn't notice. But oh, we're just dead. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Yeah, that was a weird game. That was a very, that was a very weird game. I think I should just not play Redistore on three. I think that was just dumb. Come on, Arena. Turn it back. The update they did causes auto passes. Yeah, I don't know. They do gotta clean Arena up, not gonna lie. It's been pretty frustrating to play Arena lately. What do you think to add the commander card? What's the commander card? The thing was that, like, Arena was, was running smooth as butter, like, eight months ago. But now it's, like, just a, a chug fest. Keep this. It's got Reggie again, but... Knight of Ebon Legion. Black Lance is, like... It's not a great card. The goose, the goose is loose. No blocks. Don't love uh, running out Black Lance Paragon as a nothing, but I think that's what we're gonna do here. What's worse, clicking for Devoted Druid Combo on Magic Online or restarting Arena every hour? Restarting Arena every hour, not close. It has been so frustrating to play Arena lately. I kind of don't want to play half the time. I'm not going to lie. Go get him, buddy. So now we're threatening lethal... Um, or not lethal, but uh, threatening the, the pump effect on Knight. So we're going to attack again and see if they block. Because now they're, before on turn 1, taking 1 damage is no big deal. But now letting my Knight grow is actually a big deal. So they might block with the Goose. Which would be nice. Got him. Uh, alright. So... Now we just probably cast Reggie. Stormfist Crusader. It's not really like a... This is more of like a combo deck. Think of this deck like, like a Team or Battle Rage modern deck. You know, we're just trying to Regisaur and Embercleave. The, the other creatures are kind of just like whatever. Growth Spiral? Sure. It's kind of redundant, right? If they lost the mana, they would have got enough goose. Sir Gwyn, Hero of Asheville. Doesn't that card cost 5? I played the Brawl deck once. I don't remember that card being very good. Our, our, our win condition is Embercleave. Embercleave all day. Oh, go. I'm not unhappy they make, they, they make the reach sword into a 3-3, uh, three, three, so. Because we don't really have much to do 
They have blockers anyway. We have other attackers. Make Reggie a 3-3. Three, three. Make Reggie a 3 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Ember, Cleave. Um, well, I guess now I wish they didn't do that because we would have killed them. But until we drew Ember, Cleave, you know, we just had a big dumb idiot. Um, now... Now... Now what? Because now we can, uh, could go for, we could kill Oko, or we could just attack them for a million and set up Embercleave next turn, which is pretty good. I kind of want to just attack them. So next turn we have Embercleave plus Paragon also. Yeah, we're trying to attack them. Um, so this is fine. So let this, let this happen. Feel them a bunch. And we just play Knight. And... Alright, there's dead. Yeah, there's dead. Dead. Love it. This next seems good. Uh, we are 2-1, and one, and our one loss is a pretty big punt. And eh, not a huge punt, but... I mean, all this stuff... Who wants to open a Throne of Eldraine booster pack? This Throne of Eldraine booster pack opening is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com. Number one source for all your game shopping needs. CoolStuffInc.com. Buy your Throne of Eldraine cards. Buy your board games. Buy your miniatures. Buy your supplies. Buy your Key Forge. Buy everything. Most importantly, magic cards. CoolStuffInc.com. I do a video Monday and article Friday. Great content on CoolStuffInc.com as well. Use promo code JIM5 for 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com. My video from yesterday was standard dredge. Mono blue dredge and standard. We got some gems, yay. Everyone loves gems. Let's go. Let's go. Once again, folks, if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We're playing some Mythic Championship decks. This is Ken Yuki Heroes Dino Blade deck. My name. I didn't build the deck, but I named it. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you follow. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow, like, and subscribe. And uh, let's go here. Let's cleave some people. Give some dinosaurs a uh, a sword they can't even handle. Uh, well, this hand is the epitome of all dressed up with nowhere to go. We're in a mulligan. This hand, I mean, we're going to keep. We can't even cast Regisaur, and we're already down on cards. I'm going to ship the Reggie. If there's an Embercleave in my hand, but we already have a cheap curve for Embercleave anyway, so let's keep this. Mountain. Go. Um, I kind of want a Fervent Champion. If they have a Shock, I'd much rather them kill the Fervent Champion than the... Uh, the knight. Although I want them to kill the knight over the over the veteran. Um, I'm just champion. Yeah, they have a shock. Is the card dub still legal? No, right. That was in Dominaria. Didn't dub make things knights? So we could have knighted our our Regisaur. I had a knight dinosaur. Zeta Goblin. 3 3. Rim Rock Knight. Could Black Lance try and block? That seems awful, though. A little concerned here. Our lack of lands. Alright, that's pretty good. Um, we get the Slam Jam Contender here. T 
two Rimrock Knights and another Inspiring Veteran. Eh, it's, it's okay. We're taking some hits here for sure, but... Alright, so we're going to block the 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I'm not going to block the 4-4 four, four and get blown up by a kill spell. And if they have a kill spell, we at least trade. Zibby's chewing. He never chews. Well, um... You see Zibby? He's back there. He's chewing on a... He's chewing on a card. Okay, so this is what it feels like, huh? Doesn't feel good. Uh, it doesn't feel good. We can't ever win. We just can't do anything. Okay. Embercleave. Obviously the most broken, broken card in the format. Jeez. Even like four mana Embercleave's not bad. Alright, um. I guess we want Noxious Grasp? I mean, Angrath's Rampage. The thing is that, like, Tournament Grounds doesn't even cast this card. So, like, you might not even be able to cast it. Noxious Grasp. We don't know how many red creatures they have. I mean, we're gonna want some of these for sure. The the Rimrock Knights seem a little, a little mopey. I'm not gonna lie. Spring in like four grasps, I guess. Gruel Spellbreaker plus Emberclave is pretty good. All right, let's go first. Uh, let's go first. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, Embercleave seemed like the way to go for this for this Mythic Championship because. So, the decks aren't interacting with it super well. You know, both Simic and Golos don't have a lot of ways to interact with an Embercleave. Uh, will Embercleave win the Mythic Championship? Inspiring Veteran. Nah, no Mythic Championship for me. I mean, all right, we'll attack, see what they do. If they have a removal spell, they'll kill the veteran before we get to see what's up. So I want to cast Contender. I might just... All right, that's fun. All right, so, like, we got in for two. The fail state here is a 3-3. Three, three. It's not that bad. Next one gets almost a whiskey. Almost a whiskey there. A little scary. A little scary. Alright, you are up, my friend. Domery. Knight of the Ebon Legion. <sighs> yeah, I feel like our deck definitely wants to play against Simic and Golos and not other Embercleave decks or other creature decks. We've struggled a bit with our opponent's uh, creature decks. Like, I guess we're just going on Contender and then it's Acking Domri, I guess? None of these trades seem very good. 
Auto tap solution has changed. What? Say what? What do they mean? Shock my fervent champion. Okay. Attack Domery. So like right now they have two cards in hand and a Bone Crusher Giant. And we have a Knight and basically nothing. So we're gonna equip here. Questing Bizzle. What's up, Banana? Yeah, they just have, like, lots of big things. And I just have lands. Um, I'm pretty sure we're dead. They have Death Touch, too? Yeah, I don't think we can win. Alright, you're up. Send questing beast here, right? Like, I think you're pretty stoked to trade. No, we're just gonna fight. It's so big. It's dead. Oh, let the blood is feel the ground yeah, I don't know. If we have any uh, any good thing? I guess that's not that bad. He still got still got lance is really good. Health collector? Okay. Right. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Oh, yes. We're out of time. Alright, yeah, Emmercleave Mirror is not good for us. Not good. How you doing, Zibby? You're off camera, but they can't see you. He's having a great time. Alright, now we're two and two. Where are these Golos decks at? I feel like his deck wants to play against the Golos decks, you know? I mean, this deck certainly does feel like a, a metagame deck. You know, the, in Magic, there are definitely... In Magic, there are definitely decks that are, like, specifically good just in general. And then there are decks that are specifically good for one tournament. Um, and once the, the deck lets go public and the tournament goes live... The deck isn't like necessarily good anymore because people know about it and they can adapt to it and stuff. But when all the deck lists are locked for that tournament, it's really, really good. Um, I think this is one of those decks. On the play. Maybe cut the knight. I want to keep the lands. I mean, the Simic decks have four strokes. We're playing those. We're playing that deck later. It's gonna be hard to leave up stroke on a critical turn, you know, in turn four. Like, that's kind of gross. Two fervent champions are adorable. 
And never the best friend that anyone could have. Need a little help here. Uh, ooh, we found our Golos deck. Hello. So now you can pump one of them to a 3-1. That one. We were the three best friends that anyone could have. Risen Reef. Now there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Alright, so this cost uh, three. So we're going to smash. We're going to target the one on the left. And the one on the left, and some other one. Ember Cleave. Look pretty dead to me. The old Ember Cleave, turn four kill. Finish her. Not too shabby. The beast being so active, but he's outside of the camera range. He's like chewing on stuff and playing with blocks. Alright, um. What do we even want? Do you want Chance for Glory? This is card more for like the Jeskai Fires decks. Um. Because I want to keep all of the. All like the pumpy teamer battle ragey stuff. I don't think I want this card. I'm just gonna run it back. Yeah, like Chance for Glory seems like it's for like maybe fires decks. I'm not really sure, honestly. I'm not really sure. You know, we're not Ken Yukihiro. We're gonna keep. Um it's got Reggie and Embercleave. Those cute little hands gonna pick up that large sword. I feel like Embercleave should have some flavor text. What would the flavor text of Embercleave be? Manifold key? That's a little much. You know, that's a little deep. Like, what does Manifold Key do if we don't have our 7-6 for 3 mana, you know? What kind of deck can be made with Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven, and Sir Conrad? I mean, there's like a Rakdos Witch's Oven deck in the Mythic Championship. That deck's been floating around for a while. Once upon a time for Healer of the Glade. Just casual here, healer of the glade deck, no big deal. And that makes me less excited to cast my Rimrock Knight, but we're gonna do it so we have a contender on three. The killer in you is the killer in me. Risa, welcome back. Eleven months. Yeah, that's a healer of the glade. Uh, Alright, we're just going to cast the Contender. We're not ready to, re to restore Embercleave yet. I guess we kind of are. We just, like, restore this turn. We attack a bull with an Embercleave next turn. They kill my creature, I can't do it, though. Um, Playing Contender is, like... It's okay. It's certainly less aggressive. Let's just Reggie, 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 Reggie. Um, yeah, your turn. I mean, Dio, I don't really, I don't really have a solid basis on either deck. I've played Slesnia Adventures. I could talk about them a little bit, but it wouldn't be like super expert. 
E. All right. Um, we ship the blood crypts. We don't need extra sources of of blacker red. Ship that, and uh, let's go to work. I guess. And they could have a kill spell here, but I think we're just going for it. It's kind of weird they haven't done much. We could just attack and contender. Maybe we just restore attack here and a contender. Um, like if you go over the Embercleave and they have like a a tyrant scorn or something. Like why are they, why aren't they doing anything? You know, like they have four mana. That's the best they could do. All right, fine. I'll go for Embercleave. Whatever. All right, cleave it up. I could cleave the Rimrock Knight. It would make it survive and deal a lot of damage. And the the reach source already getting through. I think that's actually better. I deal a bunch of damage with Regisaur, but if they have a way to like deal with the cleave or the Regisaur, we're in trouble. Yeah, it's on the Rimrock Knight. So now if they have a kill spell, it doesn't kill Regisaur. Love it. Love it. Well, Dio, yeah, but like, I, I don't have a great knowledge of those two decks. I've not played them extensively. You know, and like, Assassin's Trophy, C, C. Um, you know, like a, a person with a doctorate in something is not necessarily going to give you a good opinion on something that's not their field of expertise, you know? So, like, expert is, you know... I am an expert at restarting Arena, though. Alright, so... Take that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And now we have our Black Lance Paragon, Rimrock Knight, Death Touch combo. This is okay. It's not amazing, but it's fine. We got a contender, too. We're doing fine here. We're doing fine. Why did they trophy the sword? Could have another one. That's true, Dio. I'm, I'm actually pretty bad at restarting arena. <laughs> you have to do it so often, you know? Risen Reef. Yeah, I mean, random value 1-1 one, is not too good against uh, the old Cleavesky here. They have another Assassin's Trophy. Things could get a little awkward, but... smack a more resub! Nice. Two month resub. That's month number two. The important month means you chose to come back. Thanks so much, Michael Moore. Appreciate it. Welcome back. All right. Um. I guess we're gonna like contender and paragon probably. Let's just uh. Let's contender and see what turns up first. I guess I would have loved to have drawn a uh, the other equipment, but. Now they get to play the other contender, right? Link for Mythic Championship decks. They were tweeted by uh, the esports account, Mag Magic Esports. Nah, Rim I don't think Rim Rimrock is enough uh, enough going on. All right, so we're just gonna let it happen. Sure. So take eight. So we get the contender and still have our Paragon Rimrock Knight combo lined up. Contender is quite good. Alright, that's the card I was talking about. Steel Claw Lance. Could just get another Contender, though. I just love the value, but now nah, it's Steel Claw Lance. Alright. So now they really gotta do something. There's Zibby. What's up, bud? How you doing? Huh? Everyone say hi to Zibby. Hey, Zibby. Hey, you. He don't care at all. He don't care what people say. 
Black, black, black. Cry of the Carnarium. They killed more of their stuff than my stuff. What's going on? Alright. Alright. Whatever. Whatever. Do your thing. Do your thing. Um. Yeah, sure. Uh, we're just gonna say, what's the thing? It's gonna cost three to equip. Three and then one. It's fine. Let's take it. Try and surprise him. The old Black Lance. You know, just mana creatures and stuff. That was pretty good, too. Alright, um... Equip skis. Equip skis. So big skis! Oh, yeah. Double strike, not needed. Single strike, A-okay. Alright, so... Uh, overall, this deck's pretty sweet. We went 3-2, we went but... Deothar, our first hunk of the stream. Deothar donated 50 bucks to uh, to help Children's Hospitals, Extra Life Initiative, Goosey Gang. That's awesome. Thanks so much, Deothar. Appreciate it very, very much. There's your honker. Donate and get honked at. Love it. Thanks thanks so much, Deothar. Appreciate it. Um, Rock Charger and an orb. But, yeah, I would say Ken Yuka Hero's got a good shot this this Mythic Championship. Um... I think this is a very, very good metagame deck for this tournament. If uh, most of the field is um, Golos decks and Simic decks, Embercleave seems like a pretty nice way to go. And this is a pretty clean, consistent, almost like modern style Embercleave deck. No interaction. You're just like, I have a thing. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to kill you. So, I like it. Ken Yukihiro, good luck at the Mythic Championship. I'm rooting for you, my friend. Deck is sweet. But we got more decks to play. They're all here. But um, YouTube folks, look for that in a different video, right? YouTube folks, I love you. Subscribe, follow, comment, like.